Hello guys, hope you are doing well. So welcome to another video. So I am doing this video for those uh, students who are currently pursuing their MBBS abroad. And this video is especially for those who are between first to three years. So guys, congratulations. Uh, now you are living your dream. You always wanted to do MBBS. So you have come so far. You have you are away from your family uh, to complete your dream. So first of all, congratulations uh, for your new journey. And uh, my best wishes, and I hope you achieve your dream one day. So, why uh, why this is important? Why initial three years? Why I have divided it into two categories, like initial three years and uh, next year's three years. Like in most of the countries, uh, MBBS is for six years. So, I have divided it into three years. That is the first initial, that is the first part, and the later three years. So, why initial three years is important? First, talking about the target. So uh, most of you will be settling down. Hope you are adjusted to the weather very. Well. It's completely a different environment, different culture, uh, different kind of food. So I hope you have adjusted well. Uh, so some people uh, might be thinking, okay, they want to settle down abroad. They want to write a massive view or investment. Or there is other group who want to come back to India and pursue their post-graduation. But uh, let me tell you that scenario of post-graduation exam, like entrance exam is changing in India. So these are very, these, then because of that, these initial three years, they become very important if you want to make a strong base. Because this subject, those will be covered in these three years are going to be very, very important, be it your USML exam or be it your uh, PG entrance or uh, FMG licensing exam. So how to approach, how should you approach? So first, whenever you are going to, what happens, like I will share with you my experience. So we had, when we, uh, when I went to Russia, my, I'm from Kazan State Medical University. So when I joined my university, so initially we had subjects like physics, organic chemistry, uh, mathematics also we had to study a bit. So, you know, you already have studied at the level as well. But what I will advise is try to be focused in the college. Just again, think why have you, you have you are sacrificing so much you're going away from your family you are leaving your comfort life so i will uh, advise you whenever you are in the class at least be focused and try to learn as much as you can in the class because you know you are going to get a lot of time in first second and third year you will have a lot of free time where you can have your social life you can have you can enjoy but you know it is very important to be important to be focused during the study hours so whatever you can learn in those pre-clinical and this uh, 11, 12 subject, at least try to study something. After that, when you enter in the second semester in the in first year, I mean, in the next uh, six months, uh, you will have uh, anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. You can, uh, you start. So this is the introduction to the real MBBS uh, subject. So what I will advise, your first, these subjects, Anatomy, Physiology, Biochemistry, Pharmacology, Pathology and Microbiology. Trust me, these are going to be the most important subjects of your life and they're going to change everything. Why? Because these subjects, they form the base of the next clinical subject you are going to have. Anatomy is going to be helpful in your surgery because if you don't know the anatomical locations, how are you going to do the surgery? About Physiology and Biochemistry. Physiology, if you know the physiology of the uh, disease, you are able to understand pathogen is that what is happening. You have to combine your pathology and physiology to know what is happening with the disease. So you will be able to interpret the symptoms and you will, you will be able to tell what the treatment uh, is necessary. So it forms the basis of your medicine. So that is why knowing this subject, pharmacology, how do you know the mechanism of the drug that you require in medicine? If your pharmacology is weak. So I will tell you how should you approach initial three years. So first year, okay, now you are in a new country, you are in a new city, so you are getting used to the life, you are settling down your hostel room, you are making new friends. So first year, at least just be focused in the class. Whatever they are teaching in the class, at least try to be attentive and learn as much as you can. You might be, uh, it's an, uh, there is completely, the Weather conditions can be harsh, maybe the food, uh, you won't like it or there will be some problems. So it's okay, you will take some time to get used to it and maybe you're homesick, you're missing your family. 
spend time communicating with them. But at least say, spend minimum time in your class and try to be focused. Okay. Now, when you enter your second year, you will going to have your major uh, clinical subjects. So what you do, what I advise that we used to get small medical booklets. So these booklets will have topic wise uh, information and at the end there will be such also that will be the your term end kind of uh, examination that whenever you are finishing your, uh, let's say, uh, uh, when you are uh, finishing your bones and joints, so you will have a such also bones and joints. So that's a small viable leg examination. So what I want to uh, tell you that we had a very good anatomy theater. We used to get uh, proper uh, specimens. So whatever specimen I have studied then, I'm, I have remembered them till now because I have spent, I have invested my time into that. So whenever you are studying anatomy, whenever your classes are going on for anatomy, go to the anatomy museum, go to the anatomy theater, take those specimens, try to study them, try to see the marks. And you can revise them once and twice. Also, you can, what you can do that uh, you can divide bones. Like uh, your friend is going to read the lower limb. We are going to read the upper limb in detail. Then you teach each other. This way you remember it for a long and you are able to clear your concept. Again, what I'm trying to tell you that you have to invest a very little time. But what you are going to get in return, uh, that will be very uh, useful. So whenever you go home, have a uh, discipline that in a week, at least read one hour daily for four to five days. So weekend you can have fun. It's okay like on Saturday, Sundays, if you want to go out with the friends, you want to watch movie. So all that you can do on your weekends. So have a habit to read at least one hour daily. Whatever they have taught you in the class, whatever homework they have given you. So if you are being sincere to that, it will be very useful. When you enter your third year, you are going to have a pharmacology, pathology, and they are very good. Uh, I had very good. I was lucky that I had very good teachers who were very uh, enthusiastic and who took a lot of efforts to uh, teach me. We had histology also. So whenever you are studying this subject, again, I am emphasizing on the same point. You are these subjects are going to be very important. So for pathology, for example, your teacher will tell you, okay, tomorrow read this topic for the class. If you read it beforehand, when you go to the class, it's better, you understand it better. Similar for the pharmacology. Pharmacology, sometimes it feels very boring, it's very difficult, it's so difficult to memorize. But there are some important concepts in the pharmacology. Once you understand them, they are going to be with you forever. You might forget the name of the drugs, but the mechanism of action, how they act, you're not going to forget if you spend time on them during your pharmacology lectures. For pathology, if you're going to see the slides, pathogenesis, every disease has a certain pathogenesis. If you read them well during your undergraduation, you are going to remember it forever. Trust me. So prepare it beforehand. So now what should be your study material? Now we are lucky that most of the things are available in a soft copy and a PDF format. So I'm going to mention a few uh, stand books in my uh, description that these books are like must have. During your undergraduation, you must read those books. What is happening now that next is going to be introduced next year. So next exam is going to have a first uh, exam that will be again kind of your uh, licensing exam for foreign medical graduate and also the score will be taken for your post-graduation admission. And at the end of internship, again, you're going to have a second exam, which will give you a license uh, for the registration. It's kind of a registration exam. So now this exam is going to be a practical also. So there will be some practical questions also. So they have not, uh, there is uh, no information in detail. And once I get information, I'll again release that video in detail about the next examination. But that is the part of later. You still have a lot of time in your hand. So remember, a lot of money is riding on you. Your parents have sent you with a lot of expectations. So you have to stand true to them. There are a lot of fears in your mind when you go there. Okay, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to deal, and how I, I'm going to face the world. If you are scared of pre-enters examination, uh, like, okay, they are very difficult, or uh, I won't be able to do any, uh, track any exam in India, better I'll go to USMLE or somewhere else. Trust me, if you are 
though both exams are similarly difficult it's only about your personal choice where you want to pursue your future if you're going to crack your assembly you are going to you will be able to crack aims so you don't have to uh, be scared of uh, changing scenarios but you have to be ready ready for it if the exam pattern is changing is not going to change only for you it is going to be same for everyone so use your initial 3 years wisely spend at least one hour uh, daily four times a week so you can read and just follow whatever teachers are giving you uh, advices and whatever they are teaching so guys the initial 3 years that is the best time of your under graduation enjoy it to the fullest but do not forget why we are there and study well so if you have any questions about initial 3 years if you have any difficulties and you if you want more inputs from me mention in the comments best wishes thanks